It's time for Guess Who's the Jew, the game where contestants guess who's Jewish and who's not. And now, here's the host of Guess Who's the Jew, half Jew himself, Howard Stern. Okay, hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Howard, um... No, that is, uh, yes, Howard, yes? You have sort of a 60s thing going well, there? Well, thank you, Robin. Thanks for uh, taking a look at my outfit tonight, and I love <laughs> to play Guess Who's the Jew. I want to welcome everyone. Tonight, we're going to find out if our contestants know a Jew when they see one. Now, Kurt Voltheim <laughs> Jr., Yes. you're a well-known Nazi. Do you actually know any Jews? Yes, many. Now, really, you, uh, you know Jews. What do uh, these Jews say to you? Well, they said... Uh, no! Stop! Please don't! <laughs> or something like that. All right. Hey, that's a lot of fun. Now let's say hello to Daniel Carver. Daniel Carver is a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And Daniel, uh, very good that you're taking off your hood. You are dressed in your full uniform. It is very good to see you tonight. And welcome to Guess Who's the Jew. Now, Daniel, do you know any Jews? No. You have never met a Jew? Probably have, but I didn't know it. Now, I understand that you put out a phone message every day. Every day you have a different phone message for all of the different Klansmen who call you on a regular basis. Now, what is your message for today? Can you give the audience at home a typical message? <clears throat> well, the message today is the white people need to organize and stay away from the niggers. Uh, we've got to keep the white race pure. A race war is coming. When it comes, you're going to have to depend on other white people because the niggers are going to stick together. And if we don't, if the white don't stick together, the niggers are going to kill us all. They're going to rape our women, make slaves out of our children. You laugh all you want to, but it ain't going to be funny when they start. Well, <laughs> now how did you learn how to hate black people? I mean, was this a learned thing? Where did it come from, do you think? Uh, 130 years ago, niggers were slaves. Uh, 200 years ago, they were swinging from trees and living in caves. When the Bible was written and Jesus were here, they were the beast of the field. The Bible says they were beasts that wore clothing, the beasts that cried, the beasts with hands. That's what he's talking about, the niggers. Now, Marie, you don't feel like a beast, do you? <clears throat> Hell no. No, you don't feel like that. Uh, do you believe any of these things? No. So you... where you see me hanging from a tree? Daniel, it seems to me that there's a little tension between the two of you. Do you feel that at all in the room? <laughs> you no? think it's sexual, Howard? Is there a sexual tension between the two of you or not? Absolutely it's not. It's a tension, yes. Daniel, you would never make love to a black woman, am I correct? You're correct. I am correct. <laughs> have you ever made love to a white man, what? Marie? Marie, have you ever made love to a white man? Yes. You have. Because it would Just be like bestiality. What? It would be bestiality. Why would it be? For a human to go with an animal, it's bestiality. What you mean, an animal? Well, he thinks that he was an animal. Do I look like an animal to you? Yeah, I tell you, she seems like a very lovely woman, Daniel. Do I look Daniel. like an animal to you? Can you answer that? <clears throat> yeah. You've got, you've got wool instead of hair, you've got a what big wide you nose, like? you've got animal-colored skin, and you smell like an animal. All right, well... well I think I smell pretty good. All right, when I, I do too, Marie. I smell better than you, so what well, do you think you are? If you don't want my answers, answer your own questions. You know? <laughs> All I right. I think you just something out the back of the woods. Well, you know, we got to remember it's a game show, and everyone's supposed to be happy on this show. <laughs> okay, now, now, let's get into it. Daniel, did you bring any special products with you tonight? <laughs> Sure. I've All right, let's see what the Klansman uh, brings with him. He has special paraphernalia, various products to sell. <coughs> oh, Everybody deserves a plug on the Howard, show because... Yes? Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Very good, <laughs> no. Robin. You're absolutely right. <laughs> is this a stupid tape or what? <laughs> this is the stupidest tape I ever made. All right, let's take a look and see what we have here. I have a T-shirt here that says, Warning, nine of ten niggers are polluted with AIDS. <laughs> now, what about that? Explain that to me. I don't understand that. You're polluted saying that most AIDS. of the black people have AIDS? Sure, it's probably more than nine out of ten, but we went light on them. It what else you got there? You? They're, they're what else you got? Out. I'll tell you, Kurt Waldheim, this guy's got you beat by a mile. Do you take MasterCard? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, do these come in all sizes? Yeah, they come in all they sizes. They come in all yes, sizes. Grade, Everybody's uh, seen the movie. Yes. Everybody's seen the movie, The Boys in the Hood, which was a bunch of jungle niggers running around killing each other. This is the original Boys in the Hood. Those is are the right? original boys. Yeah, no, it's yeah. the hood of the Ku Klux Klansmen. Thank you there, Daniel. By the way, Kurt Waldheim, have yes. you brought any products with you tonight? As a matter of fact, I have. I brought with me my new barbecue sauce. Right. Waldheim's own barbecue sauce. <laughs> is the sauce really any good? Let's quickly try it's that because we're running absolutely. out of time for the I'll game. I'll let you be the judge here. Right, so now, wait a second. Hold it. There is a, if you notice, there is a finger. Robin, I don't know if you can oh see this. Oh, my goodness. There is a finger in this sauce. Damn it! 
the stinking bastards there is a finger in the sun. Now, you must be embarrassed by this. I'll say there's supposed to be three fingers and a toe. Now, hands will roll. All right. I promise you. Very good. Oh, all right. Well, I'm covered with sauce. Daniel, you say the Jews are the worst race. Now, our beautiful assistant, Marianne Levinson. Marianne, are you here? Marianne Levinson is now going to bring out a board with all of the various races written on it. And Daniel, I'm going to ask you to help us out and sort of get things straight. We have the, if you don't mind coming up here and taking a look at the board. On the board, come on up, Daniel. Just so we get this uh, straight. Now, there's different ethnic groups here. Would you mind putting them in order for us to tell us who is higher and lower than the other ethnic groups, if you don't mind taking a look at it over here. Now, you've got different ethnic groups, gooks, kikes, Eskimos, niggers, gays, mulattoes, you have chinks and Mexicans in the vernacular of the KKK. Now, would you say this is the proper order? Who is the lowest? The Jew is the lowest. The Jew would be the lowest. So would it be that fair to, to the would it be fair to put that down on the bottom? Yeah. All right. I'd, I'd put a gay right under him, man. You would right. put a gay right under right him. Right on top of him, I guess. <laughs> All right. Now, what about the Mexicans? Nah, we'll, we'll go the nigger, man. Now, hold it. I got to question this. You're saying that the black man is uh, better than the gay? I thought that the black man was an animal. Well, they are animals, but according to the Bible, the gays should be put to death. Niggers just should be with their own animals. Okay. Well, Fair enough. Well, there's a rationale to all this. Well, at least there's a reason, Robin. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about uh, Mexicans? Where would they go? They right go there. there. Put these mixed up people here, I guess. Uh, now, you say you put the mixed up people right here. You, you're mud babies. Mud it? babies, is that correct? <laughs> all right. That's what she is, a mud baby. Who is a mud baby? Robin Me? Robin is a mud baby? <laughs> she's not a full-blooded nigger. She's oh, half, jeez. She's half nigger and half something else. Are you, is that right? So is there, in other words, you're saying that uh, she's, what, very civilized? I don't know if she's civilized or not. Probably oh. not when the war starts. Robin, is that true that you are half black and, uh... He knows something I don't know. Well, that's interesting. I always thought Robin was Indian myself. <laughs> All right, now you're saying the gooks are uh, worse than the chinks. Well, they could be put on top of each other. Gooks and chinks are the same, and Eskimos would be highest on the list, with, with Jews being on the bottom. Is that correct? Right. I'll tell you, it's very, very confusing, this whole pecking order. Now, pick the Jewish celebrity. Contestants, I want you to guess which of the following celebrities is Jewish. Now, study our choices carefully. Robin? This is former go-go Belinda Carlisle. This is pop psychologist Dr. Joyce Brothers. And this is JFK star Sally Kirkland. Okay, contestants, now it's time to guess who's the Jew? All right, we're going to go to Marie first. Marie, this is really an intense game. Marie Bronson, which one is Jewish? Belinda Carlisle, Dr. Joyce Brothers, or Sally Kirkland? Number one. You're going to say number one, Belinda Carlisle. Daniel yeah. Carver, KKK guy, who do you say? I don't have any idea. Well, you've got to take a guess. Identification of the race this is riding on the line. This is your whole thing. Identification of the races is a very important part of the game. Take a guess. Number three. Number three, you'll say that uh, Sally, Sally Kirkland, Kirkland is the Jew, all right? And Kurt Voldheim, Jr.? It's a piece of strudel. Number two, Dr. Joyce Brothers is the Heeb. Dr. Mm. Joyce Brothers is the Heeb. All right, now let's find out who? who is the Jew. Why, look at that. It is number two, Dr. Joyce Brothers. And well, yes. 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 gets the Dr. first Joyce point. Brothers. Yes. Now, Daniel Carver, KKK guy, do you ever watch TV? Are you a fan of television? <clears throat> I don't watch it too much. What are your shows that you do watch? The news. The news, that's it. I watch cartoons sometimes. I see. Cartoons? Sure. Ding, I'm a little shocked. You watch <coughs> cartoons? Yeah. Serious guy like you? So what cartoons do you like? All of them. All of the cartoons? All the various cartoons? Yeah. Who was your favorite cartoon character? I don't know. You don't know? All right. Well, I'm sorry. You seem a little <laughs> depressed right now, are you? Because you didn't get the answer right? <coughs> no, I can't tell one Jew from another. You, you can't. put a nigger up there, I can point him out. <laughs> you put a nigger up there, you can point him out. Very yeah, good. All be right. too easy. That's so easy, though, Daniel. We We're black. not going to change the game. Okay, Robin. I want to thank Daniel Carver, Marie Bronson, and, of course, Kurt Baldheim Jr. for playing Guess Who's yeah. the Jew, Robin. 